This is a day in a life living in Miami Brickle. We're a couple in our 30s and we work remotely and we want to show you a weekend in our life. And we've done a bunch of videos on working remotely, how we do it, where we do it, and the cost of living in Miami, and a bunch of other videos related to Miami. So go check them out if you haven't already. But today we want to show you a typical weekend in our life. And we generally have a pretty healthy lifestyle. So we like to get in a workout, some healthy meals, uh, maybe check out one of the Miami neighborhoods. And typically we like to go into nature. So in this case, obviously the beach. So we're going to be doing all of that today and we're going to take you guys with us. Okay, so we're making gluten-free pancakes this morning with matcha. So gluten-free, high-protein pancakes with matcha. And I'm just gonna show you what ingredients I use. So I use the King Arthur gluten-free pancake mix, which I personally think is like the best consistency. And then I'll add like a scoop of protein powder. We like to use this one. Uh, you can get it on Amazon, it's grass-fed and yeah, just really good, simple ingredients. Only four ingredients, so it's very clean. And then I use this matcha. I recently got like a big can because I also drink matcha in the morning, uh, but this one is really nice. It's very like good quality, very light green. So, and the price is good too. You can also just get this one on Amazon. So I use those two and then the protein pancake mix, which I'll grab in a minute and just mix everything together and add the matcha. So it's pretty simple. About to put the pancakes in the pan. I love that green color, it's a really good green color. I feel like they're gonna be really good. And I also just cut up my strawberries. Ooh, they think they're gonna be good, I think. It's like the perfect consistency, right? Oh, this one's gonna be smaller. I always get it wrong with the, with the measurements to get that third one just as big. It's perfect. That one's a little bit misshaped, but I'm sure it'll taste just as good, right? <laughs> All right, so while we're making the pancakes, I want to show you guys our Breville espresso machine. We talked about it in a previous video, but just wanted to show you how it works. So come here. It's really easy to use. It's automatic, and that's the whole reason, you know, why we got it, basically. And we're going to show you guys how easy it is to use. You simply put it in there. You got the coffee beans up top. Your dose you know, should be automatically set. You can adjust the grind size right there and also using this as well. Right now we have it on manual, but it's mostly automatic, but here we go. All right, so let's check if it's perfectly pressed. And as you can see, you put it down twice. You got that perfect level. You take it out. That looks pretty good. It does, yeah. It's ready to go. So you make sure you have enough water in the back. We do. You put your cup down and you press the double espresso. Yeah, so these cups that we have are actually for cappuccinos. That's why it looks like so little. But yeah, you got your espresso. It's ready to go out on the balcony, and that's it. All 
All done. We're gonna have our pancakes out on the balcony today. Ho. Oh. Looks so good. You can always tell which one's first and which one's second, right? <laughs> we got a little standing table over here because you really want to sit in the shade to be on the balcony because it's like 100 degrees out now, even though it looks really nice. <laughs> Can't forget about the syrup. What are pancakes without maple syrup, right? Always. Looks so good. It does. These pancakes are the best, honestly. <laughs> Before we go to the gym, I wanted to show you guys a new pre-workout that I'm trying for the first time. It's called Naked Energy, and I got it off Amazon. The reason I got it is because it's so clean. All the ingredients are way better than most other pre-workouts. It's funny, I tried C4 the other day. It has like 300 milligrams of caffeine in it. It was like, it was C4 zero. And I was like bouncing off the walls. It wasn't great, so I wanted to find something cleaner. And this has no additives. If you look at other ingredients, it says none. Really good ingredients overall. No artificial sweeteners, no colors, no flavors. So I'm gonna try it out for the first time and let you guys know how it goes. All right, so we had a really good workout in the gym. I did a mix of lifting and then also like hybrid athletics. So started off with bench, uh, leg press, and then kind of switched it off to supersets. So I was doing like push-ups with weights and then, you know, also like some sprinting as well. So yeah, definitely a little bit outside my comfort zone, but it's helping me get more lean. And then, yeah, just now made the protein smoothie, got a little bit of honey in it, coconut water, two bananas. So, let's give it a taste. Really good, but also really sweet. It's good. So we just got to Crandom Beach, which is on Key Biscayne, and Key Biscayne is like a little tiny island right off the coast of Brickell. It's actually not that tiny, it's not as small as Brickell Key, um, but it's a little bit bigger. And this is actually one of the natural islands that you have uh, in Miami, and all the beaches here are natural, and this beach specifically is very unique because it's very wide and it has like kind of like dunes as well. And then they have a bunch of palm trees on the beach, which is pretty unique. I think you can't really see find that anywhere else in Miami area. So this is a really nice beach to go to. I feel like it's literally been a hundred years since we it's came here. It's been at here. least a year. Yeah, at least a year, yeah, for sure. And I think probably longer. I feel like when we just moved three years ago, we came for the first time. The lighthouse. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a bunch of beaches on Key Biscayne, and one of them is also Lighthouse Beach, which is all the way at the southern tip, and that's where we had our first date. Oh, <laughs> and we also came there last year. Uh, yeah, we also came there last year to kind of do a yeah, redo. Yeah, for our anniversary. Yeah, redo of our first date, which was our anniversary. 
Uh, but that's also really nice. And um, the nice thing about Key Biscayne, it does have a couple of beaches where you can see the sunset. Everybody kind of knows that Miami is on obviously the East Coast, so you can't really see sunsets in Miami. Not but, as well as other places. Yeah, because, or you're not on the water side, I guess. That's yeah. what I'm trying to say. But there is a beach here that uh, is facing west, so you can see the sunset with the beach. Which I think it's is, called Hobie Beach. It's called Hobie Beach, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and it's a little bit back. We'll go there later and we can show you guys. But we kind of wanted to go to this beach first because it's such a unique beach and just a nice kind of place to relax and, yeah, end the weekend. Thing you really have to watch out for is literally these they're like all over the beach and I just stepped in a couple and I think you did too right yeah they hurt yeah they really hurt like they're really sharp so watch out if you come here So as you guys can see, we're at Hobie Beach and we're just sitting here waiting on the sunset. It's like a five, 10 minute drive from where we just were over in Crandon Beach. But yeah, yeah just- Yeah, basically uh, on the other side of the island. So now we have like the, the we're looking at the west coast. We're on the west, yeah, yeah we're on the west side. Yeah, and it was a lot nicer last time we were here. There wasn't as much seaweed, but it's still pretty nice views, nice vibes. Yeah. There's a lot of people just like kind of relaxing, yeah. waiting for the sunset. A lot of people grab like chairs. There's, and a, there's their... a dog hunting for fish. That's yeah. pretty funny to see. <laughs> yeah, we got to get a little clip of it. It's actually very cute. So yeah, really just the whole point of this video was to show you guys a realistic day in the life of living in Miami, Brickell. Just wanted to give you some behind the scenes footage and kind of talk about the why and how. And I mean, you know, the day we had today wasn't really typical, but it's kind of a glimpse into what we'd like to do. Yeah, I mean, I feel like it was pretty typical. Um, we definitely had like, we have to have breakfast at home and like go to the gym. That's always something we do on the weekend. Yeah, but this is probably our third time coming to this beach to watch sunset since we've been in Miami. That's true. But we do always try to go to the beach on the weekends. We always love yeah. to get into nature and kind of, yeah, discover a little bit something new or maybe go to a place again and see it again. Yeah. So yeah, this is definitely like, typical to what we do and for me like on a saturday like, as long as i get a good workout in we can do whatever it doesn't matter <laughs> that that's kind of like the mood setter for me personally yeah you always gotta get your workout in when it's nice and sunny always <laughs> yeah but um yeah we typically like to do this actually when we met we we used to party a lot more and go out and drink yeah our weekends have changed a lot our weekends have changed a lot for sure we've definitely cut down a lot on drinking and partying in general um, I think it's just a, our priorities have shifted and we yeah we have other things yeah. to do other things to focus on and also too it's like it's just not fun when you feel like shit all the time like hangovers are never really worth it 
you just get to a certain point where you're like, why? Yeah. And plus, like, you just want to focus on other things. You want to enjoy other things. Yeah, and enjoy the weekends, especially. Yeah. yeah. And not feel like you have to recover an entire day from, like, drinking yeah. or I, more. I guess actually. overall, we just kind of value our time more. Yeah. And then also, like, with our work and with our goals, we want to feel good on Monday and Tuesday. Yeah. And feel sharp, like, straight from the beginning of the week. Yeah. So, yeah, our, our priorities have just changed. Uh, yeah. It doesn't matter. It doesn't mean that we don't like to go out and have a little drink now and then. But uh, Yeah, every now and then. Every now and then. <laughs> but, yeah, it's, it's just changed. I'm sure a lot of people can relate. <laughs> All right, so before I forget, I want to tell you guys about the Naked Energy. Took it earlier today, had a pretty good experience. I'll say like, it's a little bit more light than other pre-workouts that I've had in the past. You definitely have to take two scoops instead of just one. But yeah, you really can't taste anything. It's unflavored. And yeah, pretty much just like water. How easy, how easy it is to put it down. How does it compare to the C4? Yeah, it's a lot healthier. I, I don't think I'm gonna be staying up in bed, like laying in bed for like three hours. Awake? <laughs> yeah, like having a shit day tomorrow. Yeah. So yeah, a lot better, a lot cleaner. I think I, it's I definitely honestly, like my new pre-workout going forward. I honestly can't do pre-workout. Like it, it, any pre-workout kind of like screws me up, I feel like. No, I mean 300, milliga gram 300 milligrams of caffeine, like that'll definitely mess you up. Yeah, yeah. but. You always like it. You always get a good lift in with it. Every now and then, yeah. But yeah. not healthy. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching the video. You know, we just wanted to give you some more insight into what a day actually looks like in our life living here in Miami. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. We are going into fall now, which I know is getting very much colder everywhere else in the country. But here in Miami, it's gonna be nice and warm. So we're gonna be definitely enjoying it. Yeah, and also too, uh, you know, our channel is really growing. We have about 2,400 followers now or subscribers. So we really appreciate you guys showing love on the videos, engaging in the community. And yeah, gonna continue to put a lot more good content out the rest of this year and beyond. Yeah, definitely. So if you once again like this video, let us know and like and subscribe if you wanna see more.